Morning, HMS 7. It's great to see everybody back here in the building working hard, getting ready to close out this trimester on a Friday. Then next week will be the final week of our trimester, closing out strong. Please make sure you're number one, being proactive and getting with your teachers and trying to determine what you need to get done in order to be successful to end out this trimester. Today is a good day to check in with your teachers, especially Monday and Tuesday next week as well. Put those first things first and begin with that end in mind. Once again, our habit for the month of October, November is to begin with the end in mind. As I say that, I want you to think in your head quietly what beginning with the end in mind means and why it's important to begin with the end in mind. Again, think about that silently in your head. What does begin with the end in mind mean? Why is it important to wake up every day and begin with the end in mind? Just gave you a little bit of an example of what, why that might be important. But again, why is it important and what is it? Please reflect on that for the next couple of seconds. Now, if you're in person or if you're at home with someone else working, I would like you to share with them what it means to begin with the end in mind and why that is important. Please share now. Hopefully you're able to verbalize and generate some good ideas. Again, as I, you know, what that means to me is having values and setting a goal to reach those values. If your values will be successful in your classes this trimester, well, how do you get there? Set goals, have values. That's basically what that is. Wake up each and every day with a goal or multiple goals. Maybe a weekly goal, a monthly goal, a lifelong goal. Set those goals. Think about the positive people that you have met throughout your life and trying to emulate them. What do you need to do to get there? Why is that important? As I've said several times, you're at that crossroads in your life right now. The decisions that you make at this point in your life are going to affect the rest of your life. Make those good decisions. Second piece, I know a lot of us are about wanting control, especially at this age. If you don't set a goal, you don't begin with the end in mind somebody's going to make those decisions for you again this is so that you can make the decision that you are in control of your life make those good decisions several examples talked about multiple times of what it means to begin with the end in mind and I think you can really tie this back to a lot of things you see on social media as I talked briefly beginning in the week what social media networks are you on and if I went there, what would that say about you? Does, what does it say about you if I go to your social media outlets? What does that say about you as a person? I want you to think about that. Because people are going to do that at some point in your life. They're going to go to your social media outlets, and they're going to see what that says about you. Important, important here, begin with the end in mind. Wake up each day. If you want to be a successful person, clean up your social media. And I don't think we spend enough time talking about ways to establish digital leadership. I think beginning with the end in mind is cleaning out that inbox if you have one, uh, that social media account, and make it a positive light. Highlight the positive going on in the world, in your life, and things you can do to be proactive. I would like you to reflect briefly. I'll say that one more time. I would like you to reflect, reflect briefly on ways you can establish digital leadership in your life. So reflect briefly on what that would be. And we'll go over some examples of what it means to be a digital leader and not a digital follower. Be a digital leader, not a digital follower. Don't use social media only for entertainment, to roast people, to make fun of people. Use it to lead. Think of ways to do that. I'll give you 20 seconds to do so. Hopefully you're able to think some good ideas in your head. I've got some examples. One historical, two current. I know Ida B. Wells is not alive any longer, but if she was, she would be promoting important causes. She would also be a positive influence on the lives of others, and she would stand up and defeat 
Well, it would be bullying at the time. Ida B. Wells grew up in the 19th century during the time of slavery. She was a slave growing up, was freed at the age of 12 at the end of the Civil War, and then decided to promote an important cause, which was the end of lynching in the southern part of the United States. Lynching was a practice that was uh, practiced uh, throughout the United States, but specifically in the South. And she promoted uh, awareness as to how brutal this practice was and how it should be stopped. She wanted to be a positive influence on the lives of others by highlighting the bad and trying to find the good. She wanted to stand up and defeat that bullying practice of lynching. If she weren't alive today, she would be using her social media accounts to create awareness over that brutal practice and put an end to it. Another example here, COVID kickoff going on in Reno County, sponsored by your Reno County Health Department. This is a way to promote an important cause. It's a 10 day challenge, challenging people to stay socially distanced, challenging people to wear a mask when they're supposed to wear a mask, challenging people to avoid large groups over the next 10 days to try to knock down the numbers within our building. That's an example of promoting an important cause. If you ever get on Twitter, get a Twitter account, follow John Gordon. He's one of those individuals that promotes being positive influence on people's lives. He had a tweet just the other day that says, no matter what happened today, remember, you might not be able to control your circumstance. I want to repeat that one more time. You may not be able to control your circumstance, but you can control how you respond to your circumstance. That is just a small example of being a positive influence publicly and socially. Continue to practice that when you can. Also, again, we've shared with you the great discovery. Continue to work through that. I enjoy reading those and the pieces that you put out there. I really appreciate uh, reading about the people who have been positive influences in your life. Lastly, it's Friday. So it's fun Friday competition time. We're going to be streaming this sucker live, the water bottle challenge, so you can flip it first and get there first. And then we'll have a winner either staff or students. We love you guys. Let's finish the week strong. It's great to see everybody here on a Friday.